We just had our flight delayed and now it's finally canceled. canceled and they're out of hotel vouchers and there's no more flights. So we're stuck at the airport trying to get to St. Louis for a baby shower for Abby. And here's the line that we're in right now. We're in a major, massive line. <laughs> or is this like guest services or flight information? What is it, babe? <laughs> No, but I think we're about to have an adventure. And you're pregnant, so I feel awful for you. You're gonna stay in good spirits. <laughs> Flights right now in other airlines are literally a thousand dollars. One way, one way, a thousand bucks. Nine hours, and, and it takes nine to be like hours. A less than two hour flight. I'm gonna go walk this line. This is ridiculous. This thing doesn't ever end. We've moved like 10 feet in the last 15 minutes. And it's currently 9:52 p.m. Hey Matt. Wait, what's up? Update. It just popped up. I kept refreshing it. Yes. We have a flight that'll depart from Charlotte at 5.45 a.m. Take us to New York. Okay. And then we'll get into St. Louis by 10.58 a.m. Yes. The shower is at noon. Yes. Okay, we can make it. You'll just have to Do like... showers here? Just double check to make sure it actually went through. Hopefully people online said that we can sleep on a church pew tonight if we oh need to. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we bit the bullet, we went ahead, we booked a hotel. We just got really sick of staying in that line. We need to hurry up, there's people behind us trying to get through. Let's keep walking. So yeah, bit the bullet, spent 125 bucks in the hotel. We had so many people reaching out, being so, so nice, offering to let us stay at their house in their guest bedroom. We almost took someone up on that offer, but we also wanted to make sure we were being safe. Oh, sorry guys. So many people were saying, hey, I can pick you up, I can so drive you guys sweet. wherever you wanna go. We have the best people that just like support us online and it makes my heart so happy. You guys are the best. Seriously, you're the best. The fact that so many people, we have what, probably 20 DMs? So many. From people like, I can help you out, I can pick you up, you can stay at my house. So, so nice. All right, so I just got an Uber. They said they're gonna be six minutes away. Everyone is so grouchy. Everyone is on edge. I think there's been people here for, who knows, 12, 16, 20 hours. Workers are on edge too. Yeah, everyone's yelling. Lovely place. Definitely not a lovely scene. I really do feel like we're like living inside Home Alone when like everyone's like trying to get their airport accommodations. Everyone's freaking out. Like I really do feel like Kevin McAllister's family in a way. You wanna know what, what the airlines offered us for what compensation? Are, what did they offer for compensation? $12 meal vouchers. Are you serious? When my chicken salad sandwich, little thing of cantaloupe and a bag of chips was $21.14. You spent $21.14 on a little sandwich, chips, and some cantaloupe? Yeah, and the airlines was like $12. That'll make it all better. Thanks, airlines. Thanks so much. Got everything. We didn't leave anything, did we? Okay. Awesome, yeah. <laughs> Hotel is sold out, literally sold out tonight. Yay, we're at the hotel. For like a few hours. We're gonna get four hours of sleep if we're lucky. And they even had snacks. I probably should have asked how much that was. I have no idea what I paid for that. Six dollars. Oh, six bucks? Yeah. That's actually not too bad considering you spent $22 on your food at the airport. There wasn't prices on anything. All right, how we doing? Hey, this isn't bad. This isn't bad for a hundred bucks. Considering that like every hotel was booked and considering that a lot of hotels were charging like $300, $400 for a night stay, 125 for this. Perfect. Not bad at all. I feel... Pregnant? Pregnant. You feel the baby kicking? Yes. Today was something I did not expect at all, quite honestly. I need to go ahead and schedule an Uber, so I'm gonna do that. Abby luckily got some food at the airport, so she's pretty full. I need just to make this food for me because I haven't eaten anything. Our luggage is who knows where right now. We're gonna wait in that super long line, but at the pace it was moving, I, I really wanna say you guys, it was gonna take probably four hours, which would have meant we'd have been there till 2 a.m. I wanna eat this, but it's super hot. But now we're facing the challenge of being somewhere without any of our belongings. Luckily, I do have my toiletry bag, so we can at least brush our teeth, we can at least use my deodorant. So Abby, I will be sharing that. This next journey to get to Abby's baby shower is going to be challenging. I am about to 
take a bath. I don't know if this is a good idea, but... You should 100% take a bath. So we take a bath in this tub. Uh, hope nothing happens. No diseases are caught. I think you'll be fine. Oh. I'm not a diva. I'm not a diva. I know this will help you, though, because when Abby was stressed in high school, she would always take a bath, even if it was, like, 1 a.m., just to, like, I do this stressed. now. Yeah, you still do that. And then I got myself a little bougie hot tea from the hotel lobby, and... We're gonna be in our zen state for a little bit. Hey, guess what, good news? I just booked us an Uber for 4 a.m. So now we have a ride to the airport to make our 5.47 a.m. flight. Ah! Um. <laughs> are all the pillows literally that the size? The pillows are literally very small. <laughs> Matt, I have never, ever been to a hotel where every pillow is miniature like this. Yeah, that's my pregnancy pillow for the night. To put in between your legs? Yeah. I'm so sorry. I can put two down there. Good night, everybody. We will see you in the morning. More specifically, in like three hours. Night. It's time to go to bed. Wowza. Good night. Night, night. guys. Ah. And good morning. Abby is a trooper. You're a trooper, honey. I love you. Love you. You're doing great. Wow, that hurts to see that. On a scale of one to 10, how do you feel right now? Six, I'm not sick. Yeah, that's good that you're not sick. Our Uber is one minute away. Oh wait, they're here. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta go. Gosh, that's so nice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that was literally a miracle. And they told us how to get there. Yeah, they told us how to get there. The best too. way. <laughs> Okay, we just made it to the Charlotte airport. You guys, we had a huge hold up. It said it was gonna take a whole hour to get here when it originally said 15 minutes. And that's because there was a major accident. And then we had to get turned around. We went the opposite way on the road. And luckily the police were super, super nice. Totally understanding that we were trying to catch a flight. And they just let us through. They didn't ticket our Uber driver. Wasn't that amazing? Can you believe that all worked out? Props for our Uber driver. By the way, shout out to Carla, the best Uber driver ever. She made it happen. She really made that happen. I guess we already are stuck in Charlotte, but at She's least now. She's the hero of this, catas yeah. this travel catastrophe. It honestly feels really weird to be at the airport right now without our bags. Our checked bags are currently lost. We have no idea where they are. Now we're about to go through security. And I'm about to puke. Oh, really? Seriously, I don't feel good. That was the strangest TSA experience I've ever had in my life. And not because it was bad, because it was really, really good. Literally, the lady checking our IDs and boarding passes was like so bubbly and sweet and laughing. People were making jokes to people. Every TSA worker there was joyful at 4.45 in the morning. We gotta move to Charlotte one day. <laughs> I never even thought I would be like, yeah, I wanna move to North Carolina. But like, here I am. Like, this place seems really nice. They were so lovely, which is not usually the case. In the Chicago airport, they're like, get your butt through the line right now. I always think like, <laughs> literally punched in O'Hare <laughs> when I go through TSA. And here they're like, oh, how's your day going? Like, let me get your passport. Oh, it's it okay. So Take your time. I hope the same thing doesn't happen today. If we get on this flight, everything yeah. looks good. <laughs> on the jet bridge. We're in New York. And now we gotta catch a flight to St. Louis. Breakfast is actually really bomb in the New York airport. We're at this place called Beecher's and they have really good muffins. And that is the breakfast sandwich with egg, cheese, and chicken sausage. This is kind of um, bringing me back to life. I don't taste chicken sausage. Oh really? You see it on there? There's no chicken sausage on here. You're joking. Do you want to go up and ask about another sandwich? The person on the plane was kind enough to play their music out loud so I could hear it too. <laughs> <laughs> We're boarding our flight to St. Louis, finally. I feel refreshed a little bit. Yeah. I did not expect to get a free trip to New York out of this. I know, I wish we could have stayed and enjoyed New York for a day or something, New but. York. Concrete judgment of me. Fingers crossed that this flight does not get delayed don't or even, anything. Don't okay, even put sorry, that out sorry. there. Don't even put that out there, man. I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> Wow, what a flight. We were sitting apart the whole time, but I think that was good that we got to just, I don't know, pass some alone time, right? 
<laughs> I was in between two random guys and I kept falling asleep. How are your sleeps? How are your naps? It's so painful. Oh My no. My legs are killing me. I'm so sorry. My belly has gotten to the point where everyone is saying congratulations without having to confirm that I'm pregnant. You know what I mean? <laughs> that is it hilarious. Is so that is when you know you're pregnant. And Abby is off to the restroom. The true miracle of this whole travel fiasco will be as if our bags are on that baggage carousel. I think it can happen. I think so too. I mean, I have faith, but tentatively. Yes. Because that would just be a miracle. According to Abby's American Airlines app, our bags should be there here in a moment. Hi. Abby. Hi. Yeah. yeah. We just met a fellow dude. We love meeting you dudes. That's insane. This is a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. In April. Yes. Do you realize that everything that happened to us happened on April Fool's Day? Literally everything. So that's what this was. Yep. It was just a big April Fool's Day joke. That's honestly hilarious. Ha ha. I'm laughing so hard. Hello, Mom. How are you? Thank you, Mother. We love you. I'm halfway ready. Oh, Wait, what did you say? Oh, no. oh, you're getting ready for the party? I got half done, half oh, not. Okay. Can you believe you made it? Still unreal? I don't know how we're here. I don't understand this. And the party starts in oh, those are cute. 15 minutes. We got 15 minutes, Abby, for you to get ready and get changed for the baby shower. That's cute. Those are all cute. Which one should I wear? I like the blue. This one? I like the blue, yeah. Holy cow, you got ready so fast. You haven't even showered today. Don't say that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Tell the world. Well, are you ready? Are you ready to go to the party? I'm ready. Are you excited? Yes. All right, I love you. Love Have you. fun. Can't move it. Mm -hmm. Peace out, dudes. Right, it's okay.